been a while since I've had cake. Been meaning to make uh, some chocolate cake. My family has two boxes of cake mix, but no usable frosting. I don't uh, know how that's gonna work out. Do you have any, like, favorite types of cake? I like the one that makes me clear my throat. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, chocolate cake with white frosting. It's just... Yeah, that's good. Just the... The white frosting just kind of counteracts the richness of the chocolate part. Uh, most chocolate cakes I like. Um, I don't mind a good sponge cake every now and then. I've grown fonder of carrot cake over the years. I feel like I've only had that like once. And... I was probably like... 13 or something. Any types you don't like, or not as fond of? Cake that over in <clears throat> cakes that overindulge in fruit. That's fair. Yeah, I'm usually not too big on that stuff either. Um, usually, when I have cake, I want it to be not necessarily like. Um, Uh, like completely fanning or whatever, but um, I I I prefer there to be as little fruit in it as possible because um, that kind of ruins the taste for me a little bit. Aside from that. Oh yes, yellow cake with chocolate frosting, that's a favorite of mine. Mm. I'm not too picky with my cake. The frosting is usually my favorite part. Congratulations. Yeah, we're done with the stupid grinding. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Welcome to the Lego Star Wars uh, playthrough where we talk about cake. It's brilliant. I'll take that random mini cut. If it will let me reach it. Okay. I had a book, or rather, I rented a book from my school library that was just cake recipes. Mm. I only made one of those cakes in the book. Oh yeah, I have like a, a really old like uh, recipe book for just general um, like sweet recipes, whatever you call them. I, I don't I don't remember the uh, term for it at the moment. But, what was it like, confectionaries, maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> the one cake that always caught my eye in that book was rainbow cake. It was just, huh. it's just yellow cake with jelly beans in a rainbow pattern. That's interesting, I've never heard of that. 
Yeah, we didn't have jelly beans when we were making it, so we used Skittles. <laughs> How'd that taste? I found it too sweet as a child. That's fair. Skittles that are usually pretty sweet as it is, so... If I had just eaten the cake part and, like, put the Skittles in a bag, I think I would have been fine. Yeah. Oh, like, I can imagine, like, eating all, all that in, in, together is just going to be a bit too much for <clears throat> your stomach to take it at once. I have a decently high tolerance for sugar now. Mm. Probably too high. I'm not sure if I, I like if I made it proper today, I don't think I I'm not even sure if I would be able to eat it. That, that's a model cake, so to speak. Did I just glitch through this? Oh, okay. Those cakes were nice to look at. I'm not sure how good they taste. Mm. I'm kind of... I'm not sure how big my uh, sugar tolerance is. Like, um, I can eat a, a lot of uh, sugary stuff if I wanted to, but it usually ends up with me hating myself because I feel sick afterwards, so I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only other cake I really wanted to try was a teddy bear cake, and hmm. that would have probably tasted better if I had made it. Yeah. I can see this. Mostly because it was like just chocolate and sprinkles. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, it looks nice, and the eyes were made of marshmallows. I, I missed that book. The book was called Bake and Make Amazing Cakes, by the way. Nice. Um, I remember, um, like, this must have been back when I was, like, 12 or something, where, um, I was given a strawberry vanilla chocolate cake for my birthday at one point, um, and there were, like, three rectangular parts, like, there, there were three different sections of the cake with those um, specific, with, like, one specific, um, flavor, and that was, like, probably one of my favorite cakes I've had, because that was, like, really nice. <clears throat> oh, my. I generally fare, yeah, I don't think I've ever had a bad birthday cake, to be honest. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't... Yeah. Yeah, I would, would agree with that. Oh, I forgot another cake I like. Just this cooked basically for all intents and purposes an Oreo cake. <clears throat> yeah, I am. Uh, my throat's done. <laughs> It probably doesn't. It probably doesn't help that we're talking about the things that messed up your throat. I feel like I just recorded an episode of Book Club right now. <laughs> we're almost done with till we make our ascent. We're almost done. By the way, watch uh, watch story time with Scrappy. It's a fun time. How many times yeah, are we gonna? You. <laughs> How many times are we gonna repeat uh, that same kind of cutscene? Till you give up. <laughs> so yeah, Oreo cake. It's just chocolate cake with basically not Oreo cream, but it's Oreo cream flavored frosting. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. I, I don't love Oreos as much as other people do, but I don't mind it. Ah. So yeah, that cake is amazing. Yeah. 
Like I, I said it earlier, I, I wasn't. I, I wasn't even. Uh, um, like I, I was uh, being completely serious. Like I, I am actually kind of craving ice cream out of nowhere. <laughs> I might actually get some after this recording is done. Ice yeah. cream cake is good. I've never actually had that. I didn't even know that was a thing. It's generally just ice cream in the shape of a cake with maybe some batter on top. Fair enough. And frosting. I got an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen once. Took forever to thaw out, but it was pretty good. Mm. I remember, like, I went to my aunt's place, like, a long time ago, um, and we had, like, chocolate log cake or something like that, um, and, like, that, <laughs> I remember that being, like, one of the best things ever, and, um, I wanted to find out the recipe for that, but I don't think I ever did. I would like to try, uh, try that again, because it's been, it's been so long. My older brother had a, found a cake recipe that he often made for gatherings. Mm. Delicious. I haven't had it in over ten years. By the way, sorry, <laughs> we we apologize if we're making everyone watching this like really hungry right now. <laughs> I don't I don't know why uh, um why would you where this. Came from, but yeah, we're, we're sorry for making you hungry. Playing these levels makes me hungry. <laughs> no. War makes me hungry. Luminar, are you doing anything? No. Is that Rex? Rex? Yeah. What? Well, yeah, he's doing nothing either. They really just let anyone into the army these days, don't they? <laughs> okay. Alright, I need that. Alright, oh, that's fine. Maybe I should, maybe I'll, like, get, like, a cookbook or something tomorrow and make a cake. I should bake more in general. Yeah. I keep meaning to do that and I just don't. Give me some, <laughs> something to do during these times. Right, can I, like, get out of this? <sighs> okay, that's there's a barrier. And that for this.
Nope. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I need a better cannon. Hmm. All right. sure how this is going to work. Like. Oh, jeez, it can. Jeez, it, I didn't realize it could reach so far. Does this even damage it, though? No. I need one of these, I suppose. Yeah, okay, yeah. This should this laser thing should do the trick. Yep. That looks so broken. <laughs> I think you actually have to use it for like the final stage, because like the um, there's a very cryptic way. Like the game doesn't tell you about what you need to do, and you probably won't know know this unless you see the actual episode uh, based off of it. But you actually need to use like a like an army of these um, laser tank things to finish like the epilogue stage for my for my remember um so and the game doesn't actually tell you about it so good luck if you haven't seen the episode i can't destroy the metal ones that's a common problem with a lot of lego games <clears throat> yeah they're meant for children but they assume that everyone well they assume that people have actually seen the source material, but yeah, I feel we'll like know that. I feel like um, the like complete saga was mostly good with that. Um, like I feel like this game is per, is for, from the Lego games I played has been is probably the worst in that regard uh, in terms of expecting you to have seen the episodes. Like, not always. Sometimes it's fine, but there are moments where it's a bit too cryptic. Right, you want to, like, aim properly? Got it. Yeah, boy, shield generator. Yeah, these stages definitely get better over time. They took a little bit to uh, get going. It's a lot more fun when they actually get you um, things to build and whatnot. <laughs> Wait, is this stuff mine? I oh yeah, okay, it's blue, never mind. I'm a derp.
Ray showed. Okay. Oh, come on. Yay. I'm assuming this is the end. They wouldn't drag this out even longer, would they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's gonna work. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. This is. I thought this was this was a, a different stage. No, we just get like another stage mixed into this. Okay. I feel like this could have been separated, but I guess we'll roll with it. It's not the war part anymore, so I guess um, that's nice. They are really generous with the studs here. Huh? Generous, they're generous. That's me. You don't need them anymore. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna collect uh, as much as I can because. Good goodness, you need you need like so many studs to buy things in these games. And um, I'm gonna need that for the streams. Really weird. Uh, I don't know if we're, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned this this yet uh, while I'm at it, but um, you know how in like early Lego games like Complete Saga, like Lego Star Wars one and two, um, I think the first Lego Indiana Jones, um, etc. etc. Like those games all had a simple um, shop system where you just go to the shop in the canteen or whatever and buy all your stuff there. Um, you aware of how it works in this game and, like, modern style, like, LEGO games? The most recent LEGO game I played for any <clears throat> extensive period of time is LEGO DC Villains. Mm. I can't remember how we, how you bought characters in that. I think my cousin already had all of them. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm not sure if this is in, like, all the modern games, but the one, at least the ones I played, including this one, uh, instead of having, like, a normal shop, um, you have, um, characters that are just kind of spread out in the hub world, um, and, like, you do, I think you, like, some of them you just find randomly, others, I think, appear when you do something in the hub world itself, or when you re reach a certain requirement or something i don't remember i don't know like specifics but regardless you you find a bunch of characters in the hub world itself um and i don't remember if you have to battle them and then you can buy them or you can or if you can just buy them right away but you yeah you buy characters in the hub world and i think red bricks at least in this game you find in the hub world as well 
um, instead of instead of like in stages normally, and then you buy them in the shop. So uh, it's a little bit it's a bit weird at first, but it's not too bad, I guess. The exploration in the hub is nice, I suppose, because there's there wasn't really much reason to do that in the old old games besides just messing around. And the one in this game is actually fairly big, from what I remember. Um, it's probably going to be like an extra video just exploring it, because we ha we've only seen like one room, um, and I haven't we haven't really like looked around at all. Um, so yeah, that might be a for that might make make for a good like um, and like final episode where we just kind of talk about the game and Clone Wars in general and just kind of explore um, the hub area for a while. So I'm not sure how long this section is supposed to go on for. <laughs> I'm out of commentary, <laughs> if it wasn't clear. It's fine. We have been recording for a decent while. We're almost done with Count Dooku's um, side of the campaign, for what that's worth. Why is the Triforce in this room? I don't know. Okay, I can't do anything about that. I enjoyed the cake talk. <laughs> that was fun. Our best conversations seem to come from when we're just not even talking about the game anymore. Yeah. Um. Huh. Seeing as how I, I did end up seeing the Crash 4 trailer, you want to talk about that? <laughs> This is a pretty straightforward trailer. Um, yeah. These, what do they call it? The not mirror mode for the levels. Visually interesting, but I do worry for people with vision issues how they're going to how they're going to be able to play those. Yeah. I wonder how that's gonna work. Okay. More games could probably do well to give the players like control the color palettes. That would be nice. I I can see those stages kind of messing with people with uh, uh, vision problems. Hey, uh, playable dingo doll. That's something that I wanted for uh, a little while, and. And it was speculated, the fact that he was in, like, part of, um, some artwork, so, I'm happy about that. I, I was just, I was expecting him to just be, in, like, a regular boss or something yeah. again, but that's nice. Um, having a, a boss be a playable character, like, besides Cortex, obviously, that that is a nice bonus. I wonder how many stages are, he's going to have. It's either going to be too much or not enough. There's no in-between. Yeah. Usually, yeah. Uh, I'm expecting, like, Cortex and Dingo Dial to be, like, the vehicle stage equ equivalent for uh, It's About Time. And, like, well, I mean, they, they, could they could still technically have that for, with the regular Crash Coco levels. But we haven't really seen that outside or outside of the jet board from um, from Crash Two. Oh Lord, they're coming! Oh, 
Oh, that's a big guy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I remember in the episode where the 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 the, the uh, droid is just like uh, the, these can't destroy these tank, ha ha ha, and then he just blows up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's just those, <clears throat> what are those things called, the Zambo, what are they called, a Zamboni machine? I don't know, I never knew what it was actually called. The things that clear out the fields for the hockey matches. Oh, huh? I know sports. Oh wait, I thought I the thing. God, this okay, is... At least it's... At least the set piece is mostly accurate. It's kind of a hot mess, though. Oh, jeez. It makes me wonder if they if they did like a Lego Star Wars like Clone Wars two, uh, makes me wonder like what stages they would have uh, or like what episodes they would have picked for that. I have no idea how they even handle later Clone Wars. Yeah, I wonder like what um, how they decided on the episodes in this game. Like, do they just uh, have, like, a group of people, like, just bring up, like, a bunch of episodes, um, and then just decide what would be the best gameplay-wise or something? I don't know. There's probably a lot of, like, um, trial and error with that. Well, why didn't why didn't it work? I can barely see myself, or like barely see what's going on. <laughs> this is a good camera angle. <laughs> Come on, why is it so zoomed out? Grab it. Okay. Ah. There's another one. Oh my god. Do I have to do something about this thing? How? Oh. Uh, you wanna... Fur it properly? <laughs> oh my god, this is so awkward. There we go. No, what? Do I just jump into it? Yes? Oh. 
what is going on? <laughs> oh, I, I, I see. Now I just blow this up. Okay, that was really awkward. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> this cutscene is gonna make the Wii slow down? Yeah! <sighs> Boom. Sure, we'll go with that. That's. <laughs> That's definitely how it played out. <laughs> oh well. It's close enough. Yeah, it was especially weird for us because we literally just saw these episodes not that long ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be racking up in those studs. Yeah, we've got like f three or four. Yeah, just three. Okay. That's okay. Alright, so we're almost done with Dooku. Let's see what our, pro um, our stat status is at the moment. So that, yeah, that should be the last Dooku stage. Um, we're halfway done with Grievous. And on the first stage for Ventress. Uh, so we still got a ways to go, but we at least almost have Dooku done, so we're getting there. I'm surprised at how long this has taken. I'm, I'm, uh, I forgot how long these stages were, like... Usually, Lego game, well, I mean, I guess it's a case-by-case -case basis, but I, I remember Lego Star Wars 1 being f fairly short. Not so much 2, but yeah, this has taken a lot longer than I expected. Um, so take that for what you will. Um, so yeah, next time we'll do more Star Wars and have Kip Fisto and whatnot just jump around in the background, okay. Um, you got any closing thoughts? <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe this game was, maybe the levels are longer just to accommodate the, the fact that there's only two seasons to work with, but two seasons maybe. is like 50 two episodes, so I don't think that should be an issue. Yeah. I might, I might as well just do this. Yeah, okay, so she just see a random guy in the in the the hub. You just do that. So that yeah, that's how that works. But yeah, we'll see you guys um in the next session, so goodbye for now I guess. Have a good night everyone. Stay safe. Maybe Skywalker Circle will actually uh, have some gameplay by the time we come back. It won't. <laughs>